In ancient geography, especially in Roman sources, Dacia English was the land inhabited by the Dacians. The Greeks referred to them as the Getae east of Dacia and the Romans called them Daci. Dacia was bounded in the south approximately by the Danubius River Danube, in Greek sources the Istros, or at its greatest extent, by the Hemus Mons. Mosia Dobruja, a region southeast of the Danube, was a core area where the Getae lived and interacted with the ancient Greeks. In the east it was bounded by the Pontus Eusinus Black Sea and the river Danistrus Nister, in Greek sources the Tyras. But several Dacian settlements are recorded between the rivers Dniester and Hypanus southern Bug, and the Tisha Tissa to the west. At times Dacia included areas between the Tisa and the Middle Danube. The Carpathian Mountains are located in the middle of Dacia. It thus corresponds to the present-day countries of Romania and Moldova, as well as smaller parts of Bulgaria, Serbia, Hungary, Poland, Slovakia and Ukraine. A Dacian kingdom of variable size existed between 82 BC until the Roman conquest in AD 106. The capital of Dacia, Sarmizagetusa, located in modern Romania, was destroyed by the Romans, but its name was added to that of the new city Ulpia Traiana Sarmizagetusa, built by the latter to serve as the capital of the Roman province of Dacia. <laughs> Nomenclature Classical era The Dacians are first mentioned in the writings of the ancient Greeks, in Herodotus History's book IVXCIII, Gete, the noblest as well as the most just of all the Thracian tribes, and Thucydides' Peloponnesian Wars, Book II, Gete, border on the Scythians and are armed in the same manner, being all mounted archers. Geography The extent and location of Dacia varied in its three distinct historical periods see below. Topic. Periods Topic. First century BC The Dacia of King Burabista BC, stretched from the Black Sea to the source of the river Tisa and from the Balkan Mountains to Bohemia. During that period, the Ghetto Dacians conquered a wider territory and Dacia extended from the Middle Danube to the Black Sea littoral between Apollonia and Albia and from present-day Slovakia's mountains to the Balkan Mountains. In 53 BC, Julius Caesar stated that the lands of the Dacians started on the eastern edge of the Hercynian Forest, Black Forest. After Burabista's death, his kingdom split in four states, later five. First century AD Strabo, in his geography written around AD 20, says, As for the southern part of Germany beyond the Albus, the portion which is just contiguous to that river is occupied by the Suevi, then immediately adjoining this is the land of the Getae, which, though narrow at first, stretching as it does along the Ister on its southern side and on the opposite side along the mountain side of the Hercynian forest for the land of the Getae also embraces a part of the mountains, afterwards broadens out towards the north as far as the Tyregetae, but I cannot tell the precise boundaries. On this basis, Langyell and Raiden 1980, Hadanat 1981, and Mountain 1998 consider that the Ghetto Dacians inhabited both sides of the Tissa River prior to the rise of the Celtic Boy, and again after the latter were defeated by the Dacians. The hold of the Dacians between the Danube and Tissa was tenuous. However, the archaeologist Pardus argued a Dacian presence west of the Tissa dating from the time of Burabista. According to Tacitus AD 56 AD 117, Dacians bordered Germania in the southeast, while Sarmatians bordered it in the east. In the 1st century AD, the Eosigas settled west of Dacia, on the plain between the Danube and the Tisa rivers, according to the scholars' interpretation of Pliny's text. The higher parts between the Danube and the Hercynian forest, Black forest as far as the winter quarters of Pannonia at Carnutum and the plains and level country of the German frontiers there are occupied by the Sarmatian Eosigas, while the Dacians whom they have driven out hold the mountains and forests as far as the river Topic: <laughs> Second century AD 
Written a few decades after the Roman conquest of parts of Dacia in AD 105 106, Ptolemy Geographia included the boundaries of Dacia. According to the scholar's interpretation of Ptolemy, Hrusheski 1997, Bunbury 1879, Moxie 1974, Barbulescu and Nagler 2005, Dacia was the region between the rivers Tissa, Danube, Upper Dniester, and Siret. Mainstream historians accept this interpretation. Avery, 1972; Beringer, 1994; Foll, 1996; Mountain, 1998; Waldman Mason, 2006. Ptolemy also provided a couple of Dacian toponyms in South Poland in the Upper Vistula, Polish Wisła River Basin, Susudava and Sedidava, with a manuscript variant Gedidava. This could have been an echo of Burabista's expansion. It seems that this northern expansion of the Dacian language, as far as the Vistula River, lasted until AD 170–180 when the migration of the Vandal Hasdingi pushed out this northern Dacian group. This Dacian group, possibly the Kostobochi, Lipita culture, is associated by Gudman Scut with towns having the specific Dacian language ending, Dava i.e. Sedidava, the Roman province Dacia Traiana, established by the victors of the Dacian Wars during AD 101–106, initially comprised only the regions known today as Banat, Oltenia, Transylvania, and was subsequently gradually extended to southern parts of Moldavia, while Dobruja and Budjak belonged the Roman province of Mosia. In the 2nd century AD, after the Roman conquest, Ptolemy puts the eastern boundary of Dacia Traiana the Roman province as far east as the Hyrasis River, in the middle of modern Romania. Roman rule extended to the southwestern area of the Dacian kingdom but not to what later became known as Marimers, to parts of the later Principality of Moldavia east of the Siret and north of the Upper Trajan Wall, and to areas in modern Muntania and Ukraine, except the Black Sea shore. After the Marcomannic Wars AD 166 to 180, Dacian groups from outside Roman Dacia had been set in motion. So were the 12,000 Dacians from the neighborhood of Roman Dacia sent away from their own country. Their native country could have been the Upper Tisa region, but other places cannot be excluded. The later Roman province Dacia Aureliana was organized inside former Mosia Superior after the retreat of the Roman army from Dacia during the reign of Emperor Aurelian during AD 271 to 275. It was reorganized as Dacia Ripensis as a military province and Dacia Mediterranea as a civil province. Topic: Cities. Ptolemy gives a list of 43 names of towns in Dacia, out of which arguably 33 were of Dacian origin. Most of the latter included the added suffix dava meaning settlement, village. But, other Dacian names from his list lack the suffix e.g. Zermisegathusa regia equals Zermizerga In addition, nine other names of Dacian origin seem to have been Latinized. The cities of the Dacians were known as dava, diva, dawa, or dava, anc, gk, diva. Byz. Gk, or Daba. Dava. Byz. Gk, etc. In Dacia, Asadava, Argadava, Buridava, Dokadava, Karsadava, Klepadava, Kumadava, Markodava, Netandava, Patradava, Pelandava, Asterisk Perberidava, Petradawa, Piroboridavi, Ramadawa, Rusadava, Sasadava, Sangidava, Sedidava, Singadava, Tamasadava, Udadava, Zargadava, Ziradava, Susadava 26 names altogether. In Lower Mosia, the present northern Bulgaria, and Scythia Minor, Dobruja, Ideba, Asterisk Buteridava, Asterisk Giridava, Daadava, Kapadawa, Murideba, Sasadava, Skadava, Skadeba, Sagadava, Sukadawa, Susadava. Ten names in total. In Upper Mosia, the districts of Nish, Sofia, and partly K. Justandil, Ayadaba, Bregadaba, Dandabai, Desudaba, Itadeba, Kuimadaba, Ziznudeba. Seven names in total, Gil Doba, a village in Thracia, of unknown location. Thermi Dawa, a town in Dalmatia. Probably a Gresized form of asterisk Germadava. Pulpu Diva, Filipopolis today Plovdiv in Bulgaria. Topic. Political entities Topic. Rubabastes Ghetto Dacians inhabited both sides of the Tisa River prior to the rise of the Celtic boy and again after the latter were defeated by the Dacians under the king Burabista. 
It seems likely that the Dacian state arose as a tribal confederacy, which was united only by charismatic leadership in both military political and ideological religious domains. At the beginning of the 2nd century BC, under the rule of Rubabastes, a Dacian king in present-day Transylvania, the Dacians' power in the Carpathian Basin increased after they defeated the Celts, who previously held power in the region. Orals A kingdom of Dacia also existed as early as the first half of the 2nd century BC under King Orals. Conflicts with the Bastarnae and the Romans 112-109 BC, 74 BC, against whom they had assisted the Scordici and Dardani, greatly weakened the resources of the Dacians. Burabista <inaudible> <inaudible> Borobista, a contemporary of Julius Caesar, ruled Ghetto Dacian tribes between 82 BC and 44 BC. He thoroughly reorganized the army and attempted to raise the moral standard and obedience of the people by persuading them to cut their vines and give up drinking wine. During his reign, the limits of the Dacian kingdom were extended to their maximum. The Bastarnae and Boi were conquered, and even the Greek towns of Albia and Apollonia on the Black Sea Pontus Eusinus recognized Burabista's authority. In 53 BC, Caesar stated that the Dacian territory was on the eastern border of the Hercynian forest. Burabista suppressed the indigenous minting of coinages by four major tribal groups, adopting imported or copied Roman denarii as a monetary standard during his reign. Burabista transferred Ghetto Dacian's capital from Argadava to Sarmizagetusa Regia. For at least one and a half centuries, Sarmizagetusa was the Dacians' capital and reached its peak under King Decebalus. The Dacians appeared so formidable that Caesar contemplated an expedition against them, which his death in 44 BC prevented. In the same year Burabista was murdered, and the kingdom was divided into four later five parts under separate rulers. Codiso <inaudible> <inaudible> One of these entities was Cotiso's state, to whom Augustus betrothed his own five-year-old daughter Julia. He is well known from the line in Horus Occident Daci Cotisonus Agmon, Odes, 3, 8. 18. The Dacians are often mentioned under Augustus, according to whom they were compelled to recognize Roman supremacy. However they were by no means subdued, and in later times to maintain their independence they seized every opportunity to cross the frozen Danube during the winter and ravaging the Roman cities in the province of Mosia, which was under Roman occupation. Strabo testified, "...although the Getae and Daci once attained to very great power, so that they actually could send forth an expedition of 200,000 men, they now find themselves reduced to as few as 40,000, and they have come close to the point of yielding obedience to the Romans, though as yet they are not absolutely submissive, because of the hopes which they base on the Germans, who are enemies to the Romans." In fact, this occurred because Burabista's empire split after his death into four and later five smaller states, as Strabo explains. Only recently, when Augustus Caesar sent an expedition against them, the number of parts into which the empire had been divided was five, though at the time of the insurrection it had been four. Such divisions, to be sure, are only temporary and vary with the times. Decebalus Decebalus ruled the Dacians between AD 87 and 106. The frontiers of Decebal's Dacia were marked by the Tisa River to the west, by the Trans-Carpathians to the north and by the Dniester River to the east. His name translates into, "...strong as ten men". <laughs> Roman conquest When Trajan turned his attention to Dacia, it had been on the Roman agenda since before the days of Julius Caesar when a Roman army had been beaten at the Battle of Histria. From AD 85 to 89, the Dacians under Decebalus were engaged in two wars with the Romans. In AD 85, the Dacians had swarmed over the Danube and pillaged Mosia. In AD 87, the Roman troops sent by the Emperor Domitian against them under Cornelius Fuscus, were defeated and Cornelius Fuscus was killed by the Dacians by authority of their ruler, Diarpanius. After this victory, Diarpanius took the name of Decebalus, but the Romans were victorious in the Battle of Tapai in AD 88 and a truce was drawn up. 
The next year, AD 88, new Roman troops under Tetius Julianus, gain a significant advantage, but were obligated to make peace following the defeat of Domitian by the Marcomanni, leaving the Dacians effectively independent. Decebalus was given the status of king client to Rome, receiving military instructors, craftsmen and money from Rome. To increase the glory of his reign, restore the finances of Rome, and end a treaty perceived as humiliating, Trajan resolved on the conquest of Dacia, the capture of the famous treasure of Decebalus, and control over the Dacian gold mines of Transylvania. The result of his first campaign 101 was the siege of the Dacian capital Sarmize Jethusa and the occupation of part of the country. Emperor Trajan recommenced hostilities against Dacia and, following an uncertain number of battles, and with Trajan's troops pressing towards the Dacian capital Sarmize Jethusa, Decebalus once more sought terms. Decebalus rebuilt his power over the following years and attacked Roman garrisons again in AD 105. In response Trajan again marched into Dacia, attacking the Dacian capital in the siege of Sarmize Jethusa, and raising it to the ground, the defeated Dacian king Decebalus committed suicide to avoid capture. With part of Dacia quelled as the Roman province Dacia Traiana. Trajan subsequently invaded the Parthian Empire to the east. His conquests brought the Roman Empire to its greatest extent. Rome's borders in the east were governed indirectly in this period, through a system of client states, which led to less direct campaigning than in the west. The history of the war is given by Cassius Dio, but the best commentary upon it is the famous column of Trajan in Rome. Although the Romans conquered and destroyed the ancient kingdom of Dacia, a large remainder of the land remained outside of Roman imperial authority. Additionally, the conquest changed the balance of power in the region and was the catalyst for a renewed alliance of Germanic and Celtic tribes and kingdoms against the Roman Empire. However, the material advantages of the Roman imperial system was attractive to the surviving aristocracy. Afterwards, many of the Dacians became Romanized see also Origin of Romanians. In AD 183, war broke out in Dacia. Few details are available, but it appears two future contenders for the throne of Emperor Commodus, Clodius Albinus and Pescanius Niger, both distinguished themselves in the campaign. According to Lactantius, the Roman Emperor Decius AD 249-251 had to restore Roman Dacia from the Carpo Dacians of Zosimus, having undertaken an expedition against the Carpi, who had then possessed themselves of Dacia and Mosia. Even so, the Germanic and Celtic kingdoms, particularly the Gothic tribes, slowly moved toward the Dacian borders, and within a generation were making assaults on the province. Ultimately, the Goths succeeded in dislodging the Romans and restoring the independence of Dacia following Emperor Aurelian's withdrawal, in 275. In AD 268-269, at Nasus, Claudius II Gothicus Maximus obtained a decisive victory over the Goths. Since at that time Romans were still occupying Roman Dacia it is assumed that the Goths didn't cross the Danube from the Roman province. The Goths who survived their defeat didn't even attempt to escape through Dacia, but through Thrace. At the boundaries of Roman Dacia, Carpi Free Dacians were still strong enough to sustain five battles in eight years against the Romans from AD 301 to 308. Roman Dacia was left in AD 275 by the Romans, to the Carpi again, and not to the Goths. There were still Dacians in AD 336, against whom Constantine the Great fought. The province was abandoned by Roman troops, and, according to the Breviarium Historiae Romani by Eutropius, Roman citizens, from the towns and lands of Dacia, were resettled to the interior of Mosia. Under Diocletian, c. AD 296, in order to defend the Roman border, fortifications were erected by the Romans on both banks of the Danube. The reconquest of Dacia by Constantine the Great In 328 the Emperor Constantine the Great inaugurated the Constantine's Bridge Danube at Susidava, today Sele in Romania in hopes of reconquering Dacia, a province that had been abandoned under Aurelian. In the late winter of 332, Constantine campaigned with the Sarmatians against the Goths. The weather and lack of food cost the Goths dearly, reportedly, nearly 100,000 died before they submitted to Rome. In 334, after Sarmatian commoners had overthrown their leaders, Constantine led a campaign against the tribe. 
He won a victory in the war and extended his control over the region, as remains of camps and fortifications in the region indicate. Constantine resettled some Sarmatian exiles as farmers in Illyrian and Roman districts, and conscripted the rest into the army. The new frontier in Dacia was along the Brazda Louis Novak line supported by Castra of Hinova, Rusadava, and Castra of Petrozel. The limes passed to the north of Castra of Tiragina Barbosi and ended at Sassic Lagoon near Dniester River. Constantine took the title Dasicus Maximus in 336. Some Roman territories north of Danube resisted until Justinian. <laughs> Roman Empire as the Dacian Empire According to Lactantius, Emperor Galerius c. 260 April or May 311 affirmed his Dacian identity and avowed himself the enemy of the Roman name once made emperor, even proposing that the empire should be called, not the Roman, but the Dacian Empire, much to the horror of the patricians and senators. He exhibited anti-Roman attitude as soon as he had attained the highest power, treating the Roman citizens with ruthless cruelty, like the conquerors treated the conquered, all in the name of the same treatment that the victorious Trajan had applied to the part of conquered Dacians, forefathers of Galerius, two centuries before. <laughs> Dacia after the Romans Victohali, Typhals and Thuringians are tribes mentioned for inhabiting Dacia in 350, after the Romans left. Archaeological evidence suggests that Gepids were disputing Transylvania with Typhals and Thuringians. Typhals, once independent from Gothia became Federati of the Romans, from whom they obtained the right to settle Oltenia. In 376 the region was conquered by Huns, who kept it until the death of Attila in 453. The Gepid tribe, ruled by Arderic, used it as their base, until in 566 it was destroyed by Lombards. Lombards abandoned the country and the Avars second half of the 6th century dominated the region for 230 years, until their kingdom was destroyed by Charlemagne in 791. At the same time Slavic people arrived. See also Dacians Dacian warfare Falks weapon List of Dacian kings List of Dacian cities List of Dacian tribes Gete Carpians Costobochi Dacian bracelets Dacian draco Dacian language List of Dacian names List of Dacian plant names Trajan's column Trajan's Bridge Topic Notes Topic References Topic External Links Soren Oltianus Thraco Deco Mosian Languages Project Solt DM Sources, Thesaurus, Textual Criticism, Phonetics and Morphology, Substratum, Historical Geography A. O. Dacia, the historic region in East Central Europe includes Roman Castra. Ptolemy Geography, Book 3, Chapter 5 UNRV Dacia Article Sites.saindal.dk, Dacians as they appear on the Arch of Constantine www.fectio.org.uk, Draco Late Roman Military Standard www.stoa.org slash Trajan, Dacian Wars on Trajan's Column Journey to the Land of the Cloud Rovers, photographic slideshow of Sarmazagetusa. Dacian History Dacia on Coins Dacian Coins <laughs>